Hi friends, today we will be discussing about deadlock. What do you mean by deadlock? When a process is request for a resource, if the resource is not available at that time, then the requesting process may enter into a waiting state. That waiting state may never again change because the requesting resource may be held by some other waiting process. That is called deadlock. In short, we can say that deadlock means a process is waiting for the completion of another waiting process is called deadlock. We can explain this concept with an example. Uh, this is a traffic condition. When the, tra when the vehicles are moving from this direction to this direction, it may got stuck in this junction because the vehicles are already moving from this direction to this direction. When the vehicles are moving from this direction to this direction, it may got stuck over here because this junction is already being held by the vehicles which is moving from this direction to this direction. In this case, what is happening? Basically, the vehicles got stuck in the rod. So, it cannot move further. So, this situation is called deadlock. There are four necessary conditions which may lead to deadlock that are First one, mutual exclusion, and the second one, hold on weight, and the third one, no preemption, and the fourth one is circular weight. Deadlock can be described in terms of a directed graph called resource allocation graph. Here we have an example of a resource allocation graph with deadlock. Here we will be having two processes that is P1 and P2, and we have two resources that is R1 and R2. In this case, the process called P1, which is requesting for a resource called R2, but the resource R2 is already held by the process P2. At the same time, the process P2 is requesting for another resource called R1, but the R1 resource is already being held by the process called P1. So, the edge from P1 to R2 is called a requesting edge because the process P1 is requesting for a resource called R2. Here R2 is already assigned to the process called P2. So this edge is called assignment edge. So in this case we will be having a deadlock situation because there is a circle occurs in this graph. So this situation is called deadlock. Thank you. That's it for today.